sum up those four days or, or three and a bit days, I guess, given the, the weather issues we had? Yeah, I think the first word would be frustrating. I think uh, for a while there we've been you know, looking forward to this. Um, we knew India would be a great challenge for us. Um, and we thought we'd, we'd hit, hit um, sort of happy times winning the toss and the wicket looked, had a tinge of green in it. We had a very good pace attack. Um, but we probably just missed our mark in the first hour and they got away to a really good start. And um, from there on, we just felt like we were clawing it back a little bit. I thought India played really well. Mandana's innings was, was exceptional. Um, but uh, yeah, we just we were behind the game for the rest of the game, to be honest. And uh, they held all the aces. They um, they earned the right to probably put us under pressure. Um, and we just yeah, we never really got back in the game. But I was really proud of the way we we hung in there. We kept our standards right at the end. The, a lot of lessons out of it. I think our catching was was a bit of an issue. Obviously, you had probably up upwards of eight chances in the first inning. So the bowlers created the opportunities. Um, but unfortunately, in this game, we weren't good enough to capitalise. So. Left to rue that, but um, batting-wise, you know, we were under the pump today. We showed a bit of fight, I think, uh, you know, making sure we got past that follow-on because that could have made it really interesting. Um, but, yeah, Elise Perry again showed her skill and determination to get through and get us over the line there. And then from there on in, it was probably just uh, there was only going to be one winner. So I think we did what we had to do. Uh, I'm sure you've talked plenty about Elise Perry over the years, but uh, some ridiculous numbers today. Um, yeah, how impressed with her? Yeah, we always knew Pez was going to get better with the ball. I think um, she would struggle. She would have said she struggled by her own admission, but um, she she did come straight out of quarantine. And you know that centre wicket, you can't buy it. And I think we always thought that it, once she got in this Test match and got the opportunity with the pink ball to bowl some consecutive overs, um, probably less pressure of um, you know not if you miss your mark a little bit, it's not a wide. So uh, I thought she got better as she went along. And you know her record with the bat is is. Um, it's, it's up there with the best, so um, she had a great game. She's got the right temperament with the bat for Test cricket, or why, why does it gel so well with her? I think first and foremost, she's got a great technique. Um, so she, you know, she could defend well. She, she owns her defence, and I think, um, you know, against bowlers of the quality of Goswami and Meghna asking a question on off stump, um, she plays the ball really late. Um, she respects a good ball, and she, she has the ability to bat time. Um, so. Uh, time and time again, that's a pretty good formula for batting in Test cricket. Um, and it's something the rest of the group could probably learn a little bit from. I think you, you watch her play and um, she knows where off stump is. And I think uh, we don't get exposed that too often, but I'm sure the batting group will reflect on you know, what worked for her in this Test match and why she was able to keep out more good balls. Um, we probably, we probably played, it, played a few we didn't have to, um, but the pressure that India built up um, led us that way as well. Yeah, I, I don't truly really know to be honest, because it's uh, you know you played ninety five percent of your cricketers white ball, and we've got two tests coming up, so it is hard. And um, I think the the type of the test match uh, plays a factor. I, I definitely think India bowled really well in these conditions and nibbled the ball around. When we play against England, we're going to be playing at Marnica Oval, which will be a very different surface. Um, so and not probably as much nibble and bounce. So I think it, our stroke players will certainly enjoy that a bit more. Um, but as I said, we, we got behind the game and India were able to exert a lot of pressure on us because uh, they were so far ahead. So um, I like to think that we'll get better every time we play it. Um, it, it is difficult to prepare for. Normally we would have a, a practice match beforehand, but to be honest, I, I would rather see us um, play a five day test um, and play a similar sort of format to what we've had. Yeah, we, we've debated this over the last few tests, and I, I do think it, it was once it was six points, now it's four. Perhaps we may need a bit more discussion whether we take it back to two, so that teams are willing to, you know, roll the dice a little bit more. And I think it's only human. It's a, it's the context of the series. Um, you know, like we would love to have taken the game on, and, and and done it, but it's it's the chance to give up four points to India as well. So um, maybe that's something we can look at. But the five days for me. The last couple of tests, we've lost a full day of cricket. So you're essentially playing a three-day game. 
on a surface that doesn't have any wear and tear. So it is difficult. I think, um, yeah, you know, if this game had gone another day, um, I think we would have seen a very good test match. Yeah, incredible. I, I just, um, you know, we, we, we debriefed a lot of sessions here and, you know, the, just the, the cricket IQ that our players have developed from this test match and being exposed to world-class bowlers, different conditions, um, different situations, you know, even just seeing the game meander along for a while, we make a declaration, India declare, and just a whole, um, you know, sort of argy-bargy of test cricket. I, I, I don't think that you can, you know, can, you can pay for that. I think it's um, something that these guys will remember. I always think back to the cap presentations and, you know, we're selling a dream for young, young girls and that baggy green, you, you saw the smile on all the four people's faces and the people that presented it, it means a lot. And I think if, um, you know, we don't play a lot of it, but if we can keep it where it's, it, it is so special for those players, I think it's got great value in our game. Yeah, look, I think uh, they all got better throughout. I mean, there was a bit of, um, I, I know, speaking on, on air, that um, Georgia probably didn't get as many overs as she would have liked, and that probably was a talking point. But, um, you know, as we said, the rain probably uh, didn't help her in, in terms of her bowling loads. Um, I think they all, all the quicks got better. Darcy, um, you know, she, she's that's her first crack at this format. I think she's, she's going to get better and better. I thought Stella really showed um, what she could do the other day and, and even today just come in and bustling in and, and hitting a wicket. And someone who was probably not on the radar tw 12 months ago and was all of a sudden, you know, got a couple of games under her belt. Um, we're very excited. Um, we're also very excited to bring back Taylor in the, in the T20s. She's been terrorising all the e extra players in the nets at the moment. So um, it's exciting time ahead. Yeah, I'll probably just missed the, on the last question. I probably just missed Annabelle Sutherland. I thought she was absolutely extraordinary in the first innings, and um, everything that we talked about that we got wrong in the first session, she delivered throughout the rest of the day. And I thought she was a real beacon in the attack. So, uh, in terms of Taylor, yeah, she's she's ready to go. Like, um, it was very close for this Test match. It was just the the day, and as it would have turned out, she would have had to bowl three days in a row for us, and that would have been an incredibly high risk for her. On the, on the amount of overs that she's got under her belt, but she's fit and firing and, um, yeah, ready to go, definitely. And Elise, um, how do you get her ready in the short turnaround? I mean, she's had a huge workload over these four days. Yeah, I just saw the mood of the group lift pretty significantly there. We've, we've cleared the decks for the next two days. We're going to tools down and, and just chill out and get back to a bit of normality for a few days. It's been a very hectic schedule. And then we'll build up the day before the T20s and, and, and focus on that. Um, we'll do a nice review now um, around the test and, and talk through where we could get better. Um, but definitely for, for the whole group, I think two days, just a mental freshen up is going to do um, much more than any net session can do. Yeah, I, I will. I, I mean, I, I feel for the groundsman uh, here with those pink seats, and that was something we, he was a little, little bit worried about, pink or orange, whatever they are. But that was probably the only, only thing for this whole venue that um, you know, it didn't suit it. I think there was a lot of catches both sides that went down. But the wicket was as good as you could ask for at this time of the year. Um, the rain um, didn't help us. Uh, but, I, yeah, I, I like pink ball cricket. I think it, it works well for the game. It's, a, it's certainly a spectacle. Unfortunately, we're probably deprived of the, the key time uh, in the first couple of days where rain came in, where you know, that's your best time to take some wickets as well. So that was disappointing, but you can't control the weather. But definitely going forward, I think it, the pink ball is, is a great concept. Yeah, I do. I, I would always say that you'd pick your best six batters and then balance your tack around it. Um, but it, it actually, with Rachel's um, leaving the group, it did provide us with an extra opportunity as a bit of a security blanket. Obviously, we've got four deputants there, a lot of bowlers with not a lot of experience. Uh, we weren't quite sure 
how their loads would go, how they'd adapt to this format. And to be honest, I think it was it opened the door for Annabelle Sutherland, who came into bat at seven. Uh, and I think it, it was only halfway through the first day we thought that actually paid off. Um, as I said before, she, she actually led the attack, I think, throughout the middle session there. And so, yeah, from that point of view, um, we played the cards we were dealt. Obviously, losing your vice captain and, you know, one of the best opening batters in the world is a bit of a blow, but I think we did the best in that, in that short turnaround. Thanks, Monty. Thanks, Andrew. Mel Farrell. No, we have spoken about that. Obviously, it doesn't look great when they bat for two and a bit days and uh, bat out of the test match. But I, I really think uh, we probably just missed our mark in that first session. We bowled too short and too wide. And I think if we'd, you know, I, I, I would hate to have seen Goswami on that in the, in the first innings of that as well. And um, so I, I just think we've learned some great lessons about that. I don't think the toss was a huge factor in that. We set out, um, as we said, with picking so many fast bowlers to make the most of the conditions and it was green on day one and that's what it presented. It was a bit slower than we expected, um, but I still think we didn't execute exactly what we would wanted to execute and we paid a pretty heavy price. As I said earlier, we, we also missed eight opportunities. So theoretically, I reckon uh, if we'd have kept them under about 270, I think um, it could have been a different looking test match. Yeah, I know that got thrown around a little bit. Um, yeah, I'd have to give that a little bit more thought before I made comment on that. But what I would say is, um, you know, traditionally it's a, you know, you can only bat 120 overs, for example. India batted 140, so it's only 20 more than that. It wouldn't have had a significant influence on this game. And as I said, it's pretty hard to make up when you miss a full day's cricket. So I, I think in what, what happens is in women's cricket, we tend to get judged a lot more on the number of draws. But I think... Um, if you look around first class cricket in the world, a lot of times on that last day, there's some, you know, sort of contrived results to try and find a result if there's been a, a significant loss in time. So all those things need to be considered. I, I think going back to the earlier point about maybe going it back to two points, um, so there's less to lose and, and it's more of a spectacle. I think that's probably a better way of going about it. Thanks, Mel. Oh, look, I think, yeah, definitely in the back of the mind, we want to put on a spectacle and we want to play the game in the right spirit. And, you know, I think India wanted to do the same. I, I think what happened in the test match is they got away to a flyer. We did what we had to do and, and tried to peg them back through some, you know, more disciplined bowling. Um, but essentially both teams, I reckon, with an extra day's play would have forced hard for a result. It was just, um, you know, we were trying to work the numbers on how we could possibly get there. Obviously, we had to nullify India by getting past the follow-on, which was a huge goal for us, um, because had we not done that, it would have been all in their favour. Um, but if, if there was more time in the game, we definitely would have um, tried to set up something where it was both teams a chance to win and lose the game. Thanks, Mel. We'll go last two guys. First one from Mal, and then you, Gomesh. Oh, I do think that, you know, inevitably, especially this time of the year in Queensland, there's a big chance of losing some time to rain. So, um, you know, I, I do think it's obviously in women's cricket as well, we, we probably don't get as much wear and tear on the wicket as, as the male, our male counterparts. So it's a bit of a different game from that perspective. The spinners can't get as much into the foot marks. So a little bit more time in the game would, would certainly help everyone. Um, and I think if you're going to if you're going to devote that time to it, I, I don't think it's a, a lot to ask for one extra day. And Gomesh, last one from you. Thank you. 
Yeah, I, I just got ultimate praise for the Indian attack in this game. I thought they really set a, a great blueprint and something that we will learn from. I think our, you know, our younger quicks, I think they're slightly more experienced in, in what they've done. Maybe they've uh, potentially played a little bit more of that format than some of our players, and that's something we can look at. Um, but generally speaking, um, they, they were just more disciplined with their lines. I think we got better, as I said, as the test match went on, uh, but they were there from right on from ball one. Um, Guzwami, for me, uh, she is just the ultimate professional, world-class bowler, um, threatened our, our top order the whole time, um, and every time she wasn't on bowling, I was pretty happy. <laughs>